I think the key to becoming a champion, uh, it's important to number one, to write down your goals. I've been a goal setter since I was in the ninth grade. I would write down my short-term goals, which were goals I wanted to achieve within one year, and long-term goals are goals that I want to achieve within five years, and I still do that to this day. But I think when it came to sports, I had to visually see it. So I would pin my goals on my refrigerator and also on my bathroom, because I should visit those places at least twice a day. I love to eat. <laughs> and you got to brush your teeth twice a day. So at times I would sacrifice hanging out, going to the mall, talking to my friends, and instead go to the gym, go shoot or exercise, whatever I could do to work towards becoming a champion. The second thing that I would do and, and it's really important is that I think it's within yourself. You have to be driven and self-motivated. And I always say there's two things that people have to have that you can't teach. And that's well, number one is heart and the other one is effort. And heart really is just that passion, that love that you have for your sport or your craft or whatever it is that you're trying to be a champion in. You have to have that passion. No one can give that to you. And I think the last thing when it came to becoming a champion is something that I call the 90-10. 90% of what you do is mental. The 10% is physical, whatever the job requires, whatever the rules are, you know and you learn. But that mental toughness is really what separates you. How you interpret the situation, the problem, how you attack it. I always remember thinking, um, you know, if it was a game situation, hey, that girl has to put on her shoes one shoe at a time, just like me. The ball is, a, we have equal opportunity to it, so I have to make the effort to get to it first. Um, just talking myself through it, being mentally tougher than my opponents, I think that was really what gave me the edge. So to become a champion, the mental toughness I think is huge. You have to work at it. When tough times happen, how do you respond? I think you learn the most about people when times are tough. So I kind of consider myself to be really um, strong mentally. I think I'm tough when times get tough and I'm a winner.